second time this month. Waste of good food. Can't you tell your husband to get back to work? Don't you understand why? No, it's you who doesn't understand. This is affecting everyone. Just tell him to do his job. In the news today, February 7th, 1985, following strikes regarding the decision to privatise South East Queensland electricity, Premier Joe Bjorki-Peterson stands by his move to sack the electrical trade union. Amidst protests and picket lines, remaining electrical employees arrive for work at 7 o'clock, but the front gate is as far as they get. Unionists lead this congregation as cold showers and rotten meat seem set to cloud Queensland's future. Let's stay here for as long as it takes. Yeah. And we're not going away no. until we win. Yeah. Will you continue the protest? We will continue until we win the dispute. Do you think they'll arrest you too? I think they're going to figure it out sooner or later, and they'll target me. You hear that, boys? Enough, eh? Best you come with us. Oh, is that right, is it? Mm. You've drawn some attention, Andrews. <laughs> well done. You've earned yourself a lift home. Oh, I think I'm quite fine here. Is that really necessary? Andrews, you're a smart man. We're giving you the chance to regroup. You and your friends aren't in the right state of mind to be jumping to conclusions like this at the moment. These changes are what's best for everyone. Don't you ever think about how you want to play this, eh? I haven't done anything wrong. So let's keep it that way. This will help you with your thinking process. Oh, that's all right. I've already got plenty of lunch money. <laughs> I'm not going in. I'm not fucking... Get your fucking hands off me! Oh, fuck you! Consider it a severance package. For all your hard work, now and in the future. It's time you made the right choice. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you, you pig! You Shut the fuck up! I'm not gonna go fucking quietly! I'm gonna be the noisiest motherfucker ever! Fuck you! Queensland seems set to continue without electricity in the southeast as the state government stands by its move to privatise the industry. Words now from Premier Joe Bjorki Peterson. Well, they won't be marching. Oh, you, you, you're trying to drum up a whole lot. This thing tomorrow, you'll find it'll be a pretty big fizzer. Pretty big fizzer, no doubt about it. And I say to all the rank and file, the union can't do anything to you. They can't shoot you. They can't hang you. They can't do anything to you. Take no notice of them. And don't be bulldozed into anything that you don't want to be bulldozed into. Good evening and welcome. Predictions that the power dispute would turn violent came true today when more than 100 people were arrested outside a secret depot. There were ugly scenes as a large squad of police moved in to arrest picketers, allegedly breaking the law under the Electricity Continuity of Supply Act. Hey.
Well, we might as well be off. Go fuck yourself. I was hoping you'd say something like that. It's a shame. All that good thinking time going to waste. <laughs> Relax, all right? Just, just let it be. What happened? Was it the police? You did not get to walk in looking like this and not tell me what is going on. Well, you know what I'm doing every day? I'm taking care of our kids. I know. And I am keeping this family together and I am washing your fucking clothes and folding them and ironing them for you. And I am making dinner. And I am being abused by our neighbor. You are not the only one fighting for something here. Well, this is so bigger, give me that shit. This is bigger than just you and me, all right? I'm not fucking backing down now. Just what? Because of this? This is fucking a lot bigger than you and me. There are other families. Well, they're not us. No, they're not us. You know what? I don't know what happened. Here you go. What is that? Oh, not open it. See that? That's what Officer Fredley gave me. Got a bit of lunch money. That's a lot of money, man. Yeah, it is. Fucking money. It's the only thing I should do. You want me to take it? I mean, give some to Michael, shut him up. <laughs> what kind of a fucking animal do you think I am? I think you should think about the rest of us that are also involved in this. I think you should think about the kids. I think you should think about me. I do. Do you? Yeah, I do. 
I think about how one day I got to look him in the eye and went and tell him I didn't fucking roll over for Joe or any of those other motherfuckers out there that wanted us just to just lie down and take it. And I can be proud of what we're trying to do here. Wait, wait. I love you. <laughs> Every man has a price. You said that. I haven't met mine. I must be over here, boys. 